My dream partner, 33 male, suggested the idea of putting my 28 female child up for adoption. Okay, all right, let's go. Let's fucking go, baby. Hashtag child free, am I right? <laughs> oh, God. I met my dream partner almost 10 months ago, and I know in my heart that I am deeply in love with him. He has everything that I have ever dreamed of having in a life partner. We have amazing chemistry, he's incredibly reliable, and he's financially stable. Not to mention my three-year-old daughter has become really attached to him, but he's now just thrown her love in hers and mine's face. Recently, I noticed that he was acting distant from me. He's a great communicator, and so when I asked him if we could have a conversation and touch base with how we are both feeling, he agreed to have a conversation. I never thought that I would regret asking him to communicate with me, because it now feels like my life is going to end. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Basically, he told me that he loves me, but he doesn't want to commit and start a life with someone who is broken. What? Mm -hmm. Which, when I asked him to elaborate on broken, he explained that my kid was born out of wedlock. I have little to no communication with her father, and that it's a mess that he doesn't deserve to deal with. Let's just all sit. And just acknowledge. Okay, so wait, hold on. So they met 10 years ago. 10 months ago. 10 months ago. Oh, okay, that makes more sense. Okay. What the fuck? Why? Let's just all accept that this, what, what okay. has been said. All right, okay. Sit with it, so with your discomfort. All right, okay. okay. Um, um, what a shitty person yeah. already. Yeah, I don't even know what to say right now. Jesus. So he said this, unless I allow my sister or a close family member who I trust to adopt my daughter so that I what? can still see her, just not daily. He also told me that if I didn't have a kid that he would commit and start a life that it, he also told me that if I didn't have a kid that he would commit and start a life with me. How? Oh, uh, God. Fucking. I feel as if I am in emotional shock right now, almost like someone who I really loved died. My daughter is innocent and didn't do anything wrong. Yeah. She also has become really attached to him, and the fact that he just wants to get rid of her is shocking, indicating that he couldn't care less about her. Yeah. I still have hope that I can possibly convince him to accept my daughter, crazy, and continue his life with me, but right now I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place. I don't even know where to begin. What is the first thing that I need to do? Uh, uh, edit. I need to leave him. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Edit. Getting rid of my daughter is obviously never going to happen. I might have worded it wrong. I'm just contemplating if it's possible to get him to drop his idea of adoption and sooner or later accept my daughter, even though it's not ideal for him. I don't think it's going to happen. That's not going to happen, no. I do understand you're still in the puppy love shit. Yeah. So you really don't want this to end, but he did just do the worst thing he could yeah, have. Yeah, he was like, hey, get rid of it. It's short of like murdering. Yeah, like literally trying someone. to like fuck it. That's crazy. That's, That's a wild fundamentally broken because it's just out of wedlock i can't believe people like that still exist yeah that's fucking ben shapiro ass fucking <laughs> he doesn't deserve to deal with this mess doesn't i don't need yeah i don't need to deal with this mess it's I not would, even a mess how's it a fucking mess i feel like if i had a daughter and listen i don't have much love for children i can't imagine me really loving my kid you know and <laughs> okay. that's, i mean and that sounds terrible but that's why i don't really want kids um because i don't want to do that to a kid I feel like if I made something, yeah. If, if I made it, yeah. And then you're like, I don't want to deal with this mess. I'd beat the shit out of you. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah, it'd just be like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not a good response. It'd be a snap. Yeah, yeah. Like, it would just be like, like I would just, I would just mentally snap. Yeah, I think because that's crazy. How are yeah? How are you supposed to react in that situation other than be severely angry and yeah, feel like, like you've been betrayed? Call the police for you yeah, like, yeah. i'm going to go ambulance, crazy but not for me yeah. <laughs> yeah like no like literally like fucking i that's such a a wild back fucking words like ten, way of thinking 10 months that you, you hit it you hit this you feeling. hit this for 10 months and like like who got into this guy's head and told him this because nobody thinks that from birth you know what i no, mean no of course not who the fuck who per who just like wiggled their way into this man's brain this guy's in his 30s, too. Like, come on. You can't be a little fucking mature. Yeah, like, what? Most women, I feel like, that you're gonna date are gonna Bro, have kids. Oh, my God. I just... I I remember hearing this from a guy mm -hmm. that... Uh, God, a guy in high school once said out loud for people to hear, apparently, 
He never he never thought he could adopt someone because he never can truly love something that's not made by him. Oh, I've heard that too. I've heard that and I man, you know what? That's what we call a red flag. Yeah, it's fucking weird. That's, that's a weird a thing weird, to say. Yeah. Oh, I will say I've heard a lot of weird shit in high school that I wouldn't put against them now. No, I'm gonna put it against. <laughs> Fuck that okay. guy in particular. Okay. But no, fucking if like he no. still thinks that that's weird. If he still thinks that, yeah. Oh, let me see if I can get the fly real quick. Did you get it? I hope so. I'm crushing down. Yeah, I got Yay! it. I got the fly, everybody. Woo! I don't know. I just had that weird visceral. I mean, he probably doesn't think that now, but also like that yeah, was just a likely. weird visceral. Like, wow. I hope not. That sucks. Why is it with guys and like if you don't, if you're not the one splooging in a girl? <laughs> I want to splooge out my kid. Yeah, exactly. I, don't know. I want to make sure I'm the one that did something nine months ago and did nothing to help you. Yo, there was. I think it's um. What the fuck? Mo- what the fuck? TV show is it? It's the one about the the nurse, the the like doulas or like the fucking chambermaids or whatever it's like old british shit and like faulty (laughs) towers yeah it's faulty (laughs) towers no it's like a british tv show that was really popular a little bit ago and i've completely forgotten it and um it was about a bunch of women who like helped deliver babies in old okay and so they help this person deliver a baby and like the husband's there and blah 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 and she delivers the baby and it's black oh and the husband's not black and it was so life changing this scene because mm. the guy is so like, oh my god, I love him, wow. like absolutely, like crying with tears, like that's my son, like because yeah. he was so like, I don't give a shit if it's not yeah. my kid, I'm gonna love him and care like, for him, uh, yeah, like yeah. my kid anyway, yeah, yeah, and that was like so like, oh fuck. I don't know. It was like just, it was back when Men TV. Men can be like that? Hold on. Wait. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, I was yeah. like 14 when I saw it, I think. But like, it, it was back when TV would just like, you know, like regardless of like the historical facts of it, like yeah. they were just showing you shocking shit. Mm. You know? Sh- th- shit that would shock society at the time. Yeah. Like a white man loving a black baby. Well, that's the reason why I brought up uh, uh, Ben Shapiro because he made a stupid video about like Hollywood for like oh. Prager U. And I remember watching, I don't remember who was the one that like took this down, but like Ben Shapiro brought up, uh, to go back to again two weeks ago, he brought up friends oh. about like how Hollywood's like woke because they like, you know, bring up sensitive topics. And yeah. apparently something that happens in Friends is like Ross and Rachel have a kid out of wedlock. Yeah. And that's why I, I kind of like, uh, like, I, it's it's got to be like this guy watches Ben Shapiro or something, right? He's has some weird like conservative like. Yeah, it's got to be something like that, or it could be something he was raised with that he's just like. Yeah, I don't know. Like his maybe his mom's like, oh, I don't know. Yeah, because yeah. like I don't know. It just it just feels it just has that scummy like anti intellectual like and anti empathetic. It feels like, ancient. Yeah. That's what it feels like. It's just like an ancient opinion. Like the, hearing the word wedlock. <laughs> like what? The I was fuck? like, "Whoa, we're a, transported back." You're bringing me back. Yeah. God. I don't know. That was wild. Yeah, that's what crazy. A wild guy. Break up with him. I'm a wedlock baby. Awesome. I was the flower girl at my parents' wedding. Ah, that's nice. It's kind of dope. Yeah, I was involved. Oh yeah. Well, actually, that means you're a sinner. Actually. <laughs> yeah, born a sinner. Born to shit, forced to wipe. Yeah. 